In today's video, we'll be creating a style for a concept brand called Wild Jerky using styles, masking, and converting images into mock-ups. And here's the design brief. It's called Wild Jerky. It's a premium protein-packed beef jerky brand made for campers, hikers, and outdoor explorers who crave real flavor and natural fuel. It blends heritage toughness with a modern, clean design, capturing the spirit of the wild without feeling dated or overly cowboy. So we're gonna go to the left and click on style. And what we wanna do is drag some images. I found some images online that I really liked. I'm gonna drag and drop my files. You're only allowed up to five files. You can also put emphasis on a certain image. So if you want an image or a certain composition to have more prominence in the overall design and the style, then you can move these little lever here and you can see the percentage increasing on the top of that image. For this one, I'm just gonna leave it at 20% uh, each. I think is nice. I do actually want to put more emphasis on these styles on the left. So I might just tone this one down a little bit and this one so we can have these ones be a bit more prominent. I'm also going to go and select style and composition. I'm going to select style and composition and change it to photo realism because we're doing nice images, photorealistic mockups. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to go to the right hand side and we'll do a quick test. I'm going to type in cowboy riding a horse, click generate. We can look at our test image, that looks really nice. Love those brown tones and the style lighting looks really good. I'm going to click save style and we can call it cowboy earth or modern cowboy. What I'm going to do now is grab a prompt and I'm going to start off generating some of the packaging design so we can get a feel of the product. Click on image and you can see we've got our style selected modern cowboy there. And I want to paste in a nice prompt. I'm talking about a beef jerky pouch made of texture craft paper with a transparent window. So I'm explaining the packaging, photographed upright on neutral tone background. We've got driftwood, we've got a mountainous hillside, we've got brimstone, warm natural lighting, and then we've got textures, shadows, organic shadows, soft focus background, masculine, modern western aesthetic. I'm gonna click generate, beautiful. Now I've got this nice packaging here. Got a nice mountain range, we've got the beef jerky inside there. Got some nice wood, and I think this looks really great. It's a great starting point. Now I'm gonna generate some more packaging images to make it look interesting. I don't wanna have the same things. We want to make it fun. So I'm going to just duplicate this, go to my prompt, and I'm going to do this prompt, a lineup of four sustainable packages, and then similar vibe with like stone, wood, beautiful. This looks really nice. I love the wood. You can see you've got like this nice blur. That, that This one's like a stone one. And then this one, you can see this one, the packaging, giving it a nice angled approach there. I think that looks really nice. Now this one, we want to do more of a close-up product shop. So this one, a close-up product shot of the jerky pouch. This one, we've got like a hanging rope. So this one, we've got like a fun hanging rope besides a nice wooden cabin. This is another nice way to show the packaging. Here are some other quick examples that I created as well. So you can see what it could look like and the amount of ideas you can generate to make it look real, make the brand look lived in. And this one doesn't have a transfer window, but I like this concept we could use that for a package design or something now once we've got a packaging i'm going to generate a logo so i'm going to go to image and for this one i'm going to type in logo and we're going to use a geometric logo and i'm going to type in wild jerky masculine font rough handwritten grunge and bold cool we've got a lovely rough font love the rounded corners and the nice design here but i want to make it a bit more Interesting, so we can look at the other version it created. That's kind of nice too. I really like that W and the like little leaf there. We can always, you know, duplicate and tweak some of the fonts. We can type something like antlers, or you can type something like bullhorns. For example, this one. I think the second one works nice. You got the bull shape. Once we're happy with a logo we like, you want to use this one, you're going to select it and what you want to do is you want to go to the top and click remove background. This will make it completely transparent and we can start to use it in a mock-up. I also want to duplicate this and I'm going to make one version, we're going to make it white. So I'm going to click on this, so now I've got a white version and a black version so we can use that for a logo. Now for the packaging design, I wanted to create something that is illustrative. So I'm going to click on image and I'm going to select a style, we can go on feed and there's plenty of styles that you can play around with. There was one that I loved, uh, this one here, Vintage Botanical Vintage. And I'm going to do a prompt like this, a cinematic photo of a man walking along a desert trail, small scale figure. He wears a denim jacket, brown boots, 
and pants. Background shows a mountain range with dry grass, golden hour lighting, and rugged tone with natural warm. Beautiful. Love this style. You got long grass. You got this nice brush stroke and this nice detail. And I think this looks really cool. That one's another nice one as well. So we can continue to we can select one of these ones and play around with it. I'm going to click Extract Prompt. And Recraft does a really great job of giving me a nice prompt that's more elaborate and gives me more visual language. So you can see Stylized Artistic Illustration gives you all a lot more details here to play with. Now I'm going to change the agriculture landscape to a more um, forest camping landscape. Uh, the man is positioned in a cowboy setting. Man is walking in from the right. So we're tweaking that a little bit. We'll type cowboy outfit with the jacket. So just making small tweaks. Love this. We've got a bit of a different composition here. More of a forest landscape. That one's a cool one with a nice tent. <laughs> That's a tent. That tent is big. Really love the colors, the contrast, and the trees there. I think that's really cool. We can continue to generate different versions. So sometimes I like to play around with this here. So I might do one dynamic, one very eccentric, keeping the prompt the same, and you just get some different variations. So like even this one's really cool. That's nice. Oh, there's so many cool designs here. This one got a little care walk in the bush. This one has got mates. I think that is really cool. I really like this composition. It's really like symmetrical. It just looks very cool. This one's got like a curtain or something. Like he's going in, like the tent is opening a door to the wild. I think that is really fun. Let's try this one. Now I'm going to double click and we're going to expand the canvas just so we have more space to play with in the packaging design. So if you hold Alt, it will extend both sides on the height section and we can do the same for the width and then just click expand. So let's just expand on that design, which we love. And you got different versions of trees here. Cool. So once I have my elements, I'm going to select the mock-up image. I'm going to turn this into a mock-up. So I'm going to go to the top and click make mock-up. Once that's ready to go, I can go ahead and drag my package illustration. And, you know, we can scale it really big. We want to make sure that it fits. And whenever it doesn't fit, you can always just go back and re-expand it. Something like that looks cool. Then I'm going to drag my logo on top of it and scale it down. And just clicking and dragging till we have something we like. And rotate it a little bit. I think that looks really nice. Now what I can do is I'm going to mask some of the illustration so we're not covering the product. Then what you want to do is select the illustration image, go to the right hand side and you'll get the mask menu. Recraft allows you to change the color, textures and the masking to make it blend all together, to make it feel real. In the color tool section, you've got the hue so you can change the hue of your design. You can play with the saturation to increase the color saturation. You've got brightness, contrast and opacity. You can just click off and press Control Z to reverse that out. So you have full control over the colors. You've also got different blend modes in the appearance section. So if I click on blend mode, I can put my mouse over each one and it will show me the blending style of it. So you can see how the design is changing and how it's blending with the packaging. So you've got whole different options there that you can play with. You've also got AI blend mode and show texture. If I turn show texture to no, it will completely get rid of the texture of the packaging so you can see there's no details there. If I turn yes, you can see now the packaging is back. If I turn AI blend mode off, you can see some of the lines of the packaging is still there, but it doesn't blend the design. It just makes it feel more flat. So I typically use it on both on yes. You also can do tiling. This is great for patterns. You've got repeat and mirror. In this example, I won't be using that. Then you've got edit mask. This is where you go to refine your mask. And Recraft gives you four options. You've got the lasso tool, brush, area, and wand. The lasso is just a simple selection tool. So I can left click and drag to select an area and it will hide that area. If I select brush, you can, the brush is pretty straightforward. I can just paint over the design and it will hide whatever I paint on. You've got area, which is like a rectangle selection. 
So you can do that to select any box. And then you've got wand. Wand uses AI to make selections on different spaces on the packaging, as you can see. And the cool thing is you can hold Alt to bring back the design, just like that. So it will show. If you don't hold Alt, it will get rid of it. So for this example, let's go with the brush. You can then change the brush size on the right. You've got this slider. You can drag it to the left to make it smaller or to the right to make it really, really big. Or you can press the left square bracket to make it small or the right square bracket to make it big as a shortcut. Then you just left click and you paint over the section you want it to be masked. And you can see now the product is showing. I can hold control to zoom in. You know, maybe I want to make my brush a bit smaller just to get the fine edges there. Make sure I'm not erasing too much. And then what you can do, you can see I've erased a bit too much. You can hold Alt or if you're on a Mac, it's Option and it will minus the mask. So then it will actually go back and reveal the design elements. I'll go ahead and do the other side. So just holding Alt again and left clicking and dragging to paint. There we have it. We've got our wild jerky packaging. Now I also wanted to do some lifestyle shots so you can see some examples here. I typed a cinematic photo of a rugged man fly fishing at a riverside wearing a play jacket and cowboy hat. So we can see that all these details are there. F scene feels grounded and nostalgic in autumn foliage. And then you can see some other examples. So you can see all of them have the same style of modern cowboy and you just get the consistent colors and style and that golden light as you can see. And then to get some more product focus shots, I was able to create some examples like this. Now, if you wanted to take it one step further, we can actually duplicate this and rasterize it. And we're going to use Nano Banana to create some versions where the packaging has our new design on it, but it's using a different scenario or scene. So once it's rasterized, you'll get an image like this. And I'm going to right click and use as reference for new image. And once you do that, it will automatically select Nano Banana. And you can see we have our reference image right here. And we can say something like packaging sitting on a wooden cabin window seal. And so it's going to recognize this package and it's going to change the whole scene and environment. And once we've done that, you can see the package is consistent. It's keeping the same design and it's just replacing the environment background and the lighting. And it just looks stunning the way we've done it here. Got a few more examples. This one's in like a horse pouch. As you can see, you can see the logo and the packaging design is the same. And here's another one with a campfire. So you really have endless possibilities when creating these mock-ups. In the next video, I'll show you how to create styles to create consistent, beautiful visuals.